What's going on guys, Mitch from Panda Motorix here. We are finally out here at Bronco Super Celebration East, just outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We made the nine hour trek down from St. Louis to be out here to check out all these awesome Broncos and meet all these awesome people. So follow along, we got some great event coverage for you and check out all these sweet Bronco builds. So we were just cruising up here in the mountain roads right after day one of Bronco Super Celebration. Day one was awesome, but this area is arguably one of my favorite things about coming to Gatlinburg. As you see, we got the Bronco posted up here. We couldn't have made it in better timing. I mean, we got the perfect lighting for a nice little shoot. We got Caleb over here with the camera getting us some nice spicy film. I mean, just look at this, baby. It's so good. This is what makes events like this so awesome. Uh, when you get to explore the area around you and you truly get to appreciate you know what the locals talk about and why they have the events here in the first place so bronco super celebration day one was awesome uh sorry guys this has kind of been the highlight of my day i love this this is what it's all about so uh if you're ever come to this event in the future or any other car event in gatlinburg pigeon forge area there's tons of them definitely hit up these roads this is just the main road right through gatlinburg take it all the way to the top you'll make it to north carolina wish it never ends but it's getting late we're getting hungry <sighs> time for the trip back down Day two of Bronco Super Celebration East. I was able to walk around and check out the rest of the vendor midway unlike I was able to do on day one. And of course, some technical difficulties caused all of the audio to be lost. So a lot of clips were unsalvageable. But bear with me as I voice over a few of these clips because they're definitely worth checking out. So this is right across from our booth and we've been staring at this thing all day. This is a first gen with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Now we've put these two threes in multiple different vehicles, but this is our first time seeing one in the Bronco. It is very well executed, looks like it belongs in there, and man, this thing is sweet. This is at the Kinster chassis booth. 
they're right across from us and we've talked to a few of their guys and they're pretty cool dudes. They have some awesome swap Broncos including this EcoBoost here. Now let's check out the other one they have over here because it has a pretty cool surprise in it. I mentioned that this Bronco here has a very cool surprise in it. Now this is a very nice Robin Egg Blue first gen with a very interesting powertrain. And that is because this one is electric. These kind of swaps, love it or hate it, the work done to get it working is awesome and can truly be appreciated. Very cool swap and you'll likely be seeing more of these in the future. Over here we have the guys at Brockbuster and you know that their rig has been abused. As you can see there's some nice trail marks here on the ADV fiberglass. Shout out to these guys though, they're really testing the platform and finding weaknesses to come up with new solutions. Early on in the in a new vehicle's lifestyle, you love to see guys like this abusing a brand new vehicle, and it doesn't really get much better than that. Every time you see scratches and cracks on fiberglass, you know there's a story behind it, and this thing is a super cool build. Here we have another Bronco rocking the advanced fiberglass fenders. This one also features their heat extractor hood. Shout out to Advanced Fiberglass. We actually ran this hood on our SEMA Bronco and we absolutely loved it. Over here we have another clean Eruption Green Bronco build. We've seen a ton of these here and we absolutely love them. Now, it wouldn't be a Bronco show without Max Slider showing off some of their awesome builds. Got a nice 6th gen over there, very cool 1st gens, and of course, their new Raptor build. Across from the vendor midway, we have the Bronco Nation Corral, and that has a bunch of cool 6th gens. There's no shortage of Bronco Raptors out here at Bronco Super Celebration, and that is for sure. We've got a very nice code orange one over there, a very nice hot pepper red one over here. This one has the Project X grill lights, Dive Dynamics SS3 ditch lights. Very good. This color is awesome. In fact, it is actually the same color as our Maverick. Very glad they bought it to the Bronco. It looks killer. Tucked over here in the corner, we found a very cool retro design two-door Bronco, in which looks to be antimatter blue as the base color. Got an Everglades and Eruption Green. Again, absolutely love this color. The stock wheels and fenders too on the Everglades are some of my favorite touches. Absolutely love them. Especially the fenders. I love how they're squared off, unlike the, all the other Broncos. Gives it a really unique look. We actually saw this one rolling through town a couple times, so it was really cool to check it out up close. Man, this thing is really cool. If you've never been to Super Celebration East, this event is huge. So I really only had time to check out the Broncos in the vendor midway. Uh, unfortunately, didn't really get to check out a lot of the attendees Broncos, which I would have loved to, because I know that there are a lot of awesome Broncos out there in the field I would have loved to check out. Like I said, this event is huge, and it's just gonna keep growing from here as more and more six gens come about, and the enthusiast community keeps growing. If you're into Broncos, this is a must attend event, and you need to be here next year. All right, guys, that's gonna just about wrap this video up. As we mentioned, we did have a few technical difficulties. So we're back here in St. Louis and reflecting on our trip to the Bronco Super Celebration East. It was a fantastic time. And if you are a Bronco owner, I highly suggest making it out to an event because there are a ton of awesome builds from first gen all the way to six gen. You're not gonna be disappointed. And if you can't make it out to the show in Tennessee, no worries because they do have a few other shows scattered across the country that you can make it to. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you're smashing that like button. If you want to see more event coverage like this, let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to vlog and check out some other shows that we're heading to this season. And if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure that you're doing so and you have that notification bell clicked so you don't miss any of the Bronco content. Again, Bronco Super Celebration, huge success. Highly recommend. Thanks for watching, guys.